living on the moon with an atmosphere would be a unique and remarkable experience. The first glimpse of the lunar landscape from a distance would be breathtaking, with its sun-scorched surface pitted by craters and luminous areas of dust and rock. When closer, one could see that even in the moon's weak gravity, the dust is just as fine and powdery as Earth's soil. Even though its atmosphere is much thinner than that of Earth, it provides a buffer against the intense rays of sunlight that make up much of space's environment. My name is Adam Anderson, and welcome to Life's Biggest Questions. Today let's talk about, what if the moon had oceans? Let's dive in. If the moon were habitable like Earth, humans could colonize and inhabit the natural satellite. With a much weaker gravitational field than that of Earth's, humans on the moon would experience higher jumps and less physical strain when performing everyday tasks. Additionally, they could observe the Earth from their lunar homes in ways never before possible, such as seeing details on terrain, lighting up dark nights with our planet's illuminated surface. Life on the moon would be quite different from life on Earth, since it lacks an atmosphere and oceans. However, if these two components were present, living on the moon could be a unique and fascinating experience. With an atmosphere and oceans, the moon's surface would change drastically. The addition of water on the moon's surface would create a new landscape filled with seas, streams, lakes and rivers. This new terrain would enable humans to explore the lunar environment in ways that were previously not possible. An atmosphere and oceans on the moon would also make it habitable for humans. Without an atmosphere or oceans, it is difficult to sustain human life due to extreme temperatures and radiation levels. With both a breathable atmosphere and bodies of water, humans would be able to inhabit certain parts of the lunar surface without significant protection from environmental hazards. With its newfound atmosphere and oceans, the moon may even become home to many species of plants and animals that are currently unable to survive in its current environment. The presence of water and air will open up many new ecological niches for terrestrials, as well as aquatic organisms like fish or coral reefs, which could flourish in lunar waters. Because much of the lunar environment is still unknown to us, we can only speculate about what kinds of life forms might exist there if it had an atmosphere and oceans. Additionally, having an atmosphere decreases some of the risks associated with space travel when attempting to reach other planets or moons in our solar system. The presence of oxygen-rich gases makes space exploration safer by providing additional protection against cosmic rays that can otherwise cause significant harm to travellers during long journeys through space. Furthermore, because there are no weather conditions such as storms or high winds on the moon at present, a stable atmosphere with natural temperature regulation further reduces certain dangers posed by space travel conditions. Another benefit living on a moon with an atmosphere is that it could potentially provide us with valuable resources such as metals or minerals which could be transformed into tools or materials used for construction purposes or future technologies. These resources may otherwise remain untapped given their accessibility in an airless environment is much more limited than when they are present in atmospheric conditions due to enhanced gravitational forces acting upon them within this range of pressure differences between low-gravity environments around objects without atmospheres versus higher-gravity ones where atmospheres are present, meaning deeper mines can reach further down into more accessible deposits compared. Finally, having both an atmosphere and ocean will significantly increase our understanding of astronomy, as this combination provides us with unprecedented opportunities for astronomical observation, such as night sky viewing, without interference from clouds or other obstructions, enabling us not only observe distant galaxies, but also study stars and other celestial bodies up close from Earth's perspective, while eliminating concerns related to radiation exposure commonly encountered when conducting research outside Earth's own protective shield. Moreover, this new environment will allow experiments which were impossible before due its lack of oxygen state, creating potential avenues towards studying how planets form around stars, interacting within liquid environments over extended periods of time, advancing our knowledge about planet formation processes across entire solar systems. If the moon had oceans on it, I think it's safe to say a country would have invaded it and tried to claim the moon as their own, then you might start to hear about land wars on the moon for its resources. What if there was a huge gold supply? What if there is a new element of metal? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let us know any suggestions down below and thanks for watching.